coming into your YouTube airwaves. I'm Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Vaughn the Stat Man. And guys, check out my website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. All right, guys, so let's get into this slate. So before I begin this video, guys, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment, guys. Thank you. Let's get into it. Woo! How is everyone doing? And I hope you guys enjoyed that Jalen Green dunk, guys. Put it in the comment section if you've seen that dunk, if you saw it live. Maybe some of you guys might have actually been at the game. But put in the comment section what you think about that dunk. And put in the comment section any dunk that's memorable to you that maybe I can put on the beginning of the video and give you a shout out. All right, guys. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get to it. All right, guys. So I am Von the Stat Man. Guys, you can check me out at vonstatman.com on Twitter and check out my website, vonstatman.com. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, so y'all know I refer to these picks as stocks. And our stocks have been up lately. So we're going to try to keep the ball rolling again and keep our stock portfolio going upwards. All right, guys, so when you look at this game, Boston is on the road at Indiana, and it's actually a closeout game. What I'm seeing is without Halliburton, they competed very hard. I saw Siakam only has enough steam for the first half. Turner, same thing. He had a steam for the first half. Did a little bit in the third quarter, but not too much. Nimhart went hard. They didn't get anything out of Neesmith, and if they don't get anything out of Neesmith, they're going to be watching it with us after this game. So the first player that I want to look at, guys, we want to go down and look at Jalen Brown. Now, Jalen Brown had an off game and still had 24. So I don't expect him to start out slow. I think Tatum's going to say, Brown, I want you to go get yours in the first quarter. So I like Jalen Brown for more than 5.5 first quarter points. He's been shooting. I haven't seen him shoot less than four times in the first quarter, all playoffs. Tatum has been cooking two out of the last three games. In the last game, I knew it was going to be a Tatum game. He would just he had just shot terrible from the three-point line, and I knew that wasn't going to continue. But, guys, you could take Jalen Brown for first quarter points, guys, if you would like. So you can do that. Another prop that I like, guys, is... I'm going to do one prop here, then I'm going to go to prize picks, and we'll break down the full slate. But here, my favorite prop, if you're going to do underdog, would be Jalen Brown for more than 5.5 first quarter points. All right, guys, so without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's shoot on over to prize picks. And guys, how would you like getting a free protected play? And today, the protected play will more than likely be Tatum. But you only can get this protected play when you use my code, as you can see on the top of the screen. So, guys, use my code. Get that protected play. You can use that with Brown. Add one more player. And you only got to get one more pick. And, guys, you can come in and cash right away. That's a great steal, guys. So, again, use the code. So, guys, let's go on over to prize. All right, guys. So, we back to break down this one game Western Conference Finals. When Minnesota goes on the road against Dallas. Before we begin, guys, if you look at the top of my screen, this is my code for anyone who has not signed up for Underdog yet. Underdog is a great platform, guys. You could use my code. You can get a protected play. The protected play today is Edwards. So that if you use my code, you get Edwards at 0 .05. Guys, you can't lose with 0 .05. That protected play is amazing. And they will match you up to $100. So guys, let's go with a quick recap. So yesterday, I gave you guys two great plays and we're on a roll, guys. We're starting to get hot. And what I noticed with this Dallas and Minnesota series, the thing I'm noticing, guys, is the way Minnesota is playing defense, Dallas is gonna have a very, very big offensive game plan until Minnesota can figure out something different. So this is a matchup where Dallas could actually win the next two games. Minnesota is going to have to change up their different defensive coverages. And I'm not going to go into all of the technical stuff, but I think that the eye test is one of the best tools when you're playing DFS. And I have a great eye for basketball. Like I said, I used to coach. So I'm seeing certain things. So without wasting any more of you guys' time, let's get into the breakdown 
over on Prize Picks. All right, guys, so we over here on Prize Picks. Now, one thing I like about this game is Boston, they understand that they don't want to have to go back home and play another game. They want to be able to win this and rest up because the Western Conference will at least have another game, which will be tomorrow. So Boston understands the stakes involved. So let's get right into it. TJ McConnell is at 14 points, and I know everybody and their mother is going to take this prop. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. I don't believe he gets 14 points in this game. Tatum got 10 rebounds. Now, if you look at it, guys, he's gone over 10 rebounds two times. 10 rebounds is a lot, guys, and you're seeing that the shots are coming off long because both teams shoot a lot of three-point shots. So I don't know if Tatum will get this, but... um. Prize Picks believes that he's going to finish right at 10. That's why he's at 10 and not 10.5. If they thought he was going to get more than 10, if they thought he was going to get more than 10, they would put him at 10.5. But they think he's going to finish right at 10. So they put him at 10 even without that 0.5. So I would stay away from that prop, guys. So the first prop that I'm going to give you guys is I'm going to go down and we're going to look up Siakam points, rebounds, and assists. And I'm going to give you that for less. And the reason why I'm going less, if you look at Siakam, he's missed it in two of his last three, and he wore out in the fourth quarter. When you have a must-win game and you run out of steam in the third and fourth quarter, I saw Holiday push him around. I saw White push him around. I watched a lot of film on this game, and I was like, wow, Siakam is a first-half player. And I think he'll probably get 18 points, rebounds, and assists in the first half, and then he'll finish with 30, maybe. So I like Siakam for less. And for the last pick, we're going to go over to the Celtics, guys, and I'm going to give you Brown. I like Brown's 21.5. The only reason why I'm nervous about a blowout, because Indiana now realize we're not going to beat them four straight. They might mail it in in the third quarter. They were up by almost 20 points, and they lost this game. So I'm not sure if Brown will actually play. Now, if you want to take the 25.5 points, guys, take the under. But I want his points in the first quarter. So I'm even going to put this in the comment section. We're going to take his points in the first quarter. We want 5.5 first quarter points. This will be available very soon. So, guys, wait till his first quarter points is up. As soon as you see the 5.5 first quarter points, take that. All right, so that's it, guys. So, we got Siakam less. We got Siakam less than 35.5. And we got Brown more than. Then even though I got the, the, the Green Goblin, 21.5, we're going to take more than 5.5 first quarter points. All right, guys, so that's it, guys. So, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think in ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Good hunting on this one game closeout potential game. Love you guys. Right, so let's end with my word for today, and it's going to be quit. Ladies and gentlemen, life is going to be tough. It's going to throw you curveballs. Everything is not going to go your way. But the one thing I do know, as long as you don't quit, then you won't be a loser. You only become a loser when you quit. It's going to be tough. People are going to laugh at you. You might get bad credit. You might fail out of school, but just keep trugging alone. So, guys, the way that you succeed in life is to never quit. You made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also leave a comment. Thank you, guys. Again, love you guys.